I'm Change Your Channel, and this is the DailySheeple.com. With the U.S. presidential elections only a day away, one has to exclaim, what a ride. No matter what side of the fence you're on, if any, we've all experienced one for the record books, people. Starting at the beginning of the primaries, we learned about weird processes of deciding who would be awarded delegates. For example, in Iowa, they concluded the caucuses were so close they flipped coins to decide who would receive over a dozen delegates. It was reported that Hillary Clinton won all six coin flips. We've had the opportunity to read leaked emails that are so saturated with underhanded and unlawful cam campaign tactics that they would make Joseph Goebbels smile. From paying provocateurs to spreading disinformation, these emails have re-solidified the saying, crooked as a politician. Even the partisanship of the mainstream media has never been so blatant. It's as if they don't even try concealing it anymore. We witnessed them throw out any morsel of journalistic integrity that they had left and replaced it with fear-mongering op-ed hit pieces chalked full of lies and have truths on steroids. We've observed people who had stopped trusting the election process a long time ago being stereotyped into a party because of their view, race, and or religion. They were simultaneously bombarded with rhetoric and conflict to fuel the divide holding them firmly in place. As marginalization took hold and victimization set in, so did the anger. The I'm right and you're wrong mentality would naturally emerge, followed by the inevitable camaraderie with others in the party they had been placed. As time passed and a new social normality took hold, they began to feel part of the team, whether they realized it or not. Before long, they started to experience something that they had once given up on, faith in the system. Some of them will now be voting for the first time because of this forceful tactic. And I mean, of course, there are some people who will vote for the lesser of two evils or without any knowledge about the candidate they're voting for. Others will vote just to say they voted or vote for the party they've always voted for. And some won't vote at all. One thing is for certain. The powers that be have spared no expense to push, pull, lure, force, trick, and deceive anyone they can into participating in this election in one way or another, and we have. They have spent billions of dollars on this show, so I'm not going to assume that it's all going to end tomorrow night. First off, the results won't be accepted no matter what they are. There will be claims of fraud, rigging, and hacking to the degree that it will probably be left up to the Supreme Court to decide, as was the case in the 2000 election between George W. Bush and Al Gore. It's going to drag on and on for weeks while tension and frustration builds to the point it explodes when the final verdict is declared. They appear hell-bent on getting a bang for their buck in this election, so it seems like a logical scenario to me. Also, let's not forget about those pesky unknown unknowns that seem to come out of nowhere that flips everything upside down. There's plenty of time for that, too, as I don't think we have seen the grand finale yet. I'm Change the Channel with the DailySheeple.com, and I'm out.